Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Johnny, you better give Vinci's loan shocks a once-over. Okay. He won't give my outfit the once-over. Keep him away from it. What are you afraid of? I don't like the way your face is fastened on. Well, I'll be down tomorrow morning and give you a chance to change it. You're not running liquor anymore. You're in big business. I pulled you up out of the gutter. And you take a chance on ruining a $200 million gold mine to satisfy a grudge. Well, it's a fine way to pay me back for all I've done for you. Oh, I wouldn't pay you back that way, Al. Well, I hear they cut the big shot detective down to size. Must be tough not being able to kick the boys around anymore, making them tip their hat to you. But they still do. <laughs> to a Bronx flatfoot. Oh! Fenner is Kruger's number one man. If anything happens to Kruger, and I'm going to see that it does, Fenner moves up. But I'm not going to let him because I'm going to step into Mr. Fenner's shoes. You started this racket, you ought to have a share in it. I suppose Mr. Blake will let me have it. He'll have nothing to say about it. I'm running things from now on. If you want the Bronx and Harlem districts, they're yours. If you need protection, you'll get it. You don't trust me. I don't trust anybody. I've never seen it fail. Whenever mugs get into a scrap, the first thing they do is they start knighting each other. Say, I thought you were smart, Al. Keep on talking. Finally got wise to you. You're through. Oh, no, I'm just starting. Copper! Green and 
Union Radio, Drafty 158 and three quarters. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Say, uh, we're, we're going to show you some uh, sl 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 sensational movies. And they're just chock full of uh, mi 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 military secrets. So if there's any uh, th fifth columnist in the audience, uh, will they uh, b b b b please leave the th th theater right now? Uh, th uh, thank you. <laughs> America's defense effort. As the tenseness of the world situation mounts by the hour, more and more important in the defense plan looms our vital industries. Fast furnaces at white heat convert the iron ore into defense implements. Here we see the molten metal automatically conveyed and about to be poured. This is the stuff from which tanks are made. In modern blitz warfare, Air power is often the deciding factor, and the need for all types of planes has every American aircraft factory humming. <laughs> because of their proven effectiveness, various types of British RAF planes are studied and improved upon. In front of us is one of the famous English Spitfires. <laughs> With the machinery and materials approaching peak output, the need for men to man these machines grows urgent. Then came the drafts. X-Tray, X-Tray, read all about the draft bill. Citizen Sugarcane says, Our open door policy is responsible for the draft. All over the country, men of draft age scan their draft board lists for their number and discuss their chances of being called up. We ain't got nothing to worry about. We both got high numbers. Your numbers even higher than mine. And besides, you're much too short. They'd never take a little rut like you. You and your education. Draftees are housed in well planned modern army camps. Because of the outdoor life and regular hours, the boys develop hearty appetites and are fed plenty of good, wholesome food. Because, as the great General Napoleon once said, an army travels on its stomach. The army is rapidly being equipped with all types of armament, from the huge siege guns down to the machine gun nest. Even in a modern mechanized army, the horse still has a place. Here are some army horses raised in South America. La Conga! <laughs> Our new anti-tank gun is the answer to any possible tank attack. Here is one about to blast a robot tank. Here it comes. Watch the tremendous hitting power of this super gun. The tank is almost in the direct line of fire. Get ready. Aim, fire, 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 fire! What's the matter? Why don't they shoot? What are those gunners doing? <laughs> Mine's longer than yours. Here we see the latest long-range rapid-fire coast defense gun in action, shooting 10 million shells a second. Watch. <laughs> government policy, new machines are constantly being developed. Here is the latest weapon, a land destroyer, 100 times faster and more effective than a tank. Look at that thing go, hurtling through space at five miles a minute. Hey, stop and let us see that machine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello again, folks. Hold on to your bridge work, boss. Here we go again. Thanks. The president orders all-out test of defense strength. The mighty armed forces of the nation respond to the president's command. Fortresses, pursuit ships, long-range bombers. And on the sea, our mighty Navy tries out its powerful guns. On land, our tank corps drives forward to the scene of action. Are we safe from air attack? Supposing one day a fleet of enemy bombers suddenly appeared over the horizon. Where are our defenses? Why isn't something being done? That's all, folks. Chevrolet presents Oak Creek Canyon, land of the mystic red rock. Deep in the rocky folds of Arizona's Indian country, where sun and sky and steep crags jut into the horizon, is Oak Creek Canyon. This is a place of parched roadbeds that suddenly become swollen with torrential rains that race into lively rivulets to provide sport for the fishermen tourists. It's a place where snow-capped peaks register Arctic temperature, and just 30 miles away is the tropic heat of the lowlands. This skyscraper of stone is nearly 200 million years old. Oak Creek Canyon once was a raging, turbulent sea. Yet as the waters disappeared and earth movements raised the structure of the land, beautiful carvings in stone, like Castle and Bell Rock, appeared out of the depths. Here, the Old West, with its beautiful background, comes to life. And even the most timid of the tourists ventures forth with enthusiasm for that first ride into the hill country. Spanish explorers, viewing this canyon for the first time, named it Verde, the Green Valley. And rising up from it stands the castle of Montezuma, king of the ancient Indian peoples. The Indians called this spot Tuzagut, bend in the river. Nestled in the valley, is this famous old frontier town of Jerome, whose history was written in the language of gunpowder and six shooters. You and your family can enjoy the vacation thrills of this fabulous land. And no matter where you live, you can reach it quickly, comfortably, and with the utmost economy. Travel this year the roads to romance, to places you have always wanted to go. And when you travel, go in one of the quality motor cars your Chevrolet dealer has to offer. It will be your magic carpet to the land of your heart's desire. Chevrolet presents San Luis Obispo, part of old Spanish California. Halfway between the cities of Los Angeles and San Francisco, there, settled deep in a cove of quiet, rustic pattern, is the city of San Luis Obispo, 
the last of the old Spanish towns. This mission, built nearly 200 years ago, was the beginning of it all. Founded in 1772, it has stood on this same spot while the city was built around it. As we wend our way down through the Cuesta Pass, it seems the whole of Obispo County has been showered with nature's gentleness. And in the foothills and valleys of the Santa Lucia Range nestles a Toscadero the Beautiful, a city conceived building by building on a blueprint. It could happen only in California. This beauty spot approaches San Simeon Bay and leads to the famous San Simeon Castle. Stone upon stone of this huge structure was transported from Italy and rebuilt into this castle. It's a long way down, 3,000 feet in fact. Jutting from its place in the ocean and reaching skyward like a giant guardian is this tremendous Gibraltar of the Pacific, Morro Rock, like a place you dream about but never get to. Not at all. You and your family can enjoy the vacation thrills of this fabulous land. No matter where you live, you can reach it quickly, comfortably, and with the utmost economy. Travel this year, the roads to romance, to places you have always wanted to go. And when you travel, go in one of the quality motor cars your Chevrolet dealer has to offer. It will be your magic carpet to the land of your heart's desire. Chevrolet presents San Diego and the Ramona Country. Romantic, yes indeed. Especially to this honeymoon couple. We enter the city along a smooth, wide stretch of engineering genius known as the Cabrillo Freeway. San Diego Mission parched by the sun for nearly two centuries, still stands as a landmark of worship. In the heart of San Diego, Balboa Park, with 1,400 acres of vivid floral pattern, is called the garden spot of the world. Still another reminder of California's yesteryear, the old ferry, the last of its kind, which makes its daily visits to Coronado. A short trip from the mainland takes us to romantic Coronado by the Sea and the Hotel del Coronado, famous resort playground of the area. In the Valley of San Jacinto, the Indian girl Ramona comes to life every year in pageant and play and legend. Here, Ramona was married. Here, her lover, Alessandro, was killed. Yet Ramona is a fictitious character who lived only in a book. Heading away from Lake Elsinore and the Ramona country, we come to another famous spot, Capistrano, inspiration for poet and dreamer. Yes, California is a land of legend, but of reality too. You and your family can enjoy the vacation thrills of this fabulous land. No matter where you live, you can reach it quickly, comfortably, and with utmost economy. Travel this year 
the roads to romance, to places you have always wanted to go. And when you travel, go in one of the quality motor cars your Chevrolet dealer has to offer. It will be your magic carpet to the land of your heart's desire. Chevrolet presents Western Michigan, vacation land of the inland seas. Michigan, queen of the Great Lakes, is washed on three sides by the inland seas. Vacationists arriving from the west on the huge car ferries at Muskegon, Ludington, or Frankfurt can combine the novelty of sea travel with the practical pleasures of a motoring holiday. One of the most unusual celebrations in America is the Tulip Time Festival in Holland, Michigan. A riot of color and delicate bloom draws visitors and buyers from everywhere. Originally a Dutch colony, the entire town takes part in festival and pageant. Splendid highways lead back from the coast to the forest regions of Michigan, to resort areas offering infinite variety in scenery and in sports. Glen Lake, breathtakingly beautiful, is but one of more than 11,000 lakes in Michigan. In contrast with lake and forest is Michigan's dune country, with sand dunes such as Sleeping Bear, slowly drifting, relentlessly burying the countryside under the drive of the west wind. Whimsically shifting, barren and somber, Michigan's sand dunes are a never-ending attraction for visitors. Michigan is a land of wooded hills and water. Her coastal highways are skirted by more than 3,000 miles of sweeping beaches. The distance from New York to San Francisco spun out in mile after mile of golden sands. You and your family can enjoy the beauty of this spot, and no matter where you live, you can reach it quickly, comfortably, and with utmost economy. Travel this year the roads to romance, to places you've always wanted to go. And when you travel, Go in one of the quality motor cars your Chevrolet dealer has to offer. It will be your magic carpet that will carry you to the land of your heart's desire. It's intermission time, folks, so hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right over to our refreshment center for the most extravagant array of refreshment goodies ever assembled under one roof. Enjoy breathtaking, mouth-watering goodies. Everything from a snack to a delicious full meal. At our refreshment center, you'll find a large variety of goodies to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, or your sweet tooth. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Visit our refreshment center now. Hey, Mom. Yes, you. Why fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the show starts, or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in.
And now, on with the show. Come on. Why, where are we going? We're going to clean up on some Japs. You talk like he was a General MacArthur. But Dan of Japan, that general will fight him to a standstill. Yeah, you're not kidding so long as he's got help. He'll have plenty of help because we're joining the Army. Oh, no, not me. I personally like the Navy. My old man used to be water boy for Corporal Dodger. See, listen, how are we going to join the Army? None of us are old enough. Just because you can't tell a little white lie, there's no reason why the rest of us can't. Borrow your father's register. Look, I, I, I love you like you were my own what? son. But Report at that address. We want to knock off about a million Japs. Who's we? We is us, six of us. You mean you want to enlist? Yeah, that's a general idea. We want to learn Yokohama to yodel the Star Spangled Banner. How old are you, son? 21. How old are the rest of you boys? 21. 21. You'll have to have proof of your age. Proof? Feel these bristles. And I just shaved this morning, too. Yeah, honest, you got to believe us. We want to fight. The Japs don't ask you how old you are when he starts dropping those bombs on you. The well, orders is orders. Tell that to the Marines. Okay, but you'll be sorry, kid. Opportunity only knocks once. I got a connections with the Boy Scouts. I'll fix you. Wait a while your top button is loose. One ninety-two and a half. I lost four pounds. Oh, that's bad, man. Hmm, two forty-seven. Where are your birth certificates? Oh, they got burnt in a very severe fire. Yeah, but we admit we're 21. We got muscles and uh, red... Well, you've got the right spirit, fellas, but I'm afraid you're too young to enlist. Can't say we didn't try. Well, what are you in this boy? So long, Cap. Doesn't anybody want us? Have a cigar, Admiral. Why, thanks. Hey, show us a couple of uniforms, will you? What do you kids want? We want to join the Navy. You want to join the Navy? What for? You want to share the ocean with Japan. You want to do what? You want to share the ocean with Japan. What do you mean with Japan? We'll take the top and give them the bottom. Oh. I don't feel so good. I'm getting seasick already. Funny. Me too. What's the matter with you guys? Did you ever smoke a cigar before? <coughs> Who's rocking this office? Come on out, not here. Come on out. Save a voice for me, will you, Admiral? We'll be back in a few minutes, or maybe a few days. Out. Morning, sir. 
Chaps, those Japs. I got a good mind to report him to the alien department. I wonder what he ran Heinbach out of the store for. I don't know. He's a good American citizen. What are we, mice or men? Let's see. Yeah. Get it, ah! Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Spoonal. My aim was bad. You're blind as a bat. For a fearless front in the face of danger. Man, that's a man that went down my rear. What you boys want? We don't like you and we don't like your store. You know, gentlemen, Kino. What's the idea of chasing a good American like Heinbach out of your store? Heinbach, you're no good American. He's not. I suppose you're a sweet smelling lotus blossom, is that it? You get out. We'll get out. We'll tear you up in a little pieces and feed you that Chinaman for chop suey. Well, maybe he's too yellow to make good chaps. Look out! Oh, now, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, look out! You get out! Don't run! 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 All right, honey, put that stuff back where you got it. That's vitamins for victory. Come on, put it back. Okay, but we was just trying to be patriotic. And you, Danny, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. With your brother Phil in the service, making the whole neighborhood proud of him. You ought to know better than this. I told him we shouldn't. Oh, hey, only kidding. <laughs> Hiya, Nora, honey. Why, Phil, you're not in uniform. Well, what's the difference? It isn't a uniform makes the man. No, but you should be proud to wear it. Oh, now, look, don't tell me you're like the rest of the gals in love with a uniform. Oh, Phil, you know better than that. Ah. Ease away, sailor. There's a storm coming. Hiya, Danny. Hiya, Hi, Phil. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, how come you're here? I thought you were at Annapolis. Well, you never can tell what I'm gonna do. You seem to do all right with the girls. Quiet. Hey, Danny, what's up? These hoodlums trying to lead you into trouble? Sure, we just had your darn little brother to a burlesque show. Don't worry, our skirts are clean. Yeah, clean our skirts, too. Yeah. Come on, we gotta have a conference. Hey, I gotta take a lesson. I'll see you later, Phil. Hey, Danny, tell Mom I'll see you tonight, but it may be late. Okay. Well, aren't you excited? Oh, honey, I'm sorry, I can't. I've got a very important matter I've gotta take care of. But I'm coming back to take you out tonight, so be prepared. It's a date. I'm ready, Professor. You are? Take it on two. Uh, pardon me, pardon me, just a minute. Skip the page. Take it on two. What's he learning? Barnyard imitations? He should learn boogie woogie, if you ask me. Boy, that is sure corn. He should learn to play a harp. A uh harp, -huh, he should just quit. Hours and hours, huh? Yeah, hours and hours. <laughs> Professor, your shoe, your shoe. That's your shoe. It's your shoe. Oh, yeah, it's my shoe. What's the professor? What's the professor? Professor, your fingers caught. Your fingers caught. Yeah, I'm stuck. Well, a little nervous tonight. Yeah? 
Should I change my name to Misha? We wouldn't miss you if you did. Who said that? Who said that? Professor, yes. would you play for me? Come on, Professor, play for me. I'll choose you who plays. Come on, I'll choose you. No, 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 no. Come on, I'll choose you. I'll choose you. Come on, once. Just once. Choose me once. Well, don't tell anybody. You win. Take the other lesson, will you? The good lesson. Where's that? That's the most murderous interpretation of music I ever heard. They won't let us enlist, and that's that. Yeah, and I have my mind made up to pick off a million Japs. We can still take care of Kino. <laughs> I don't know. That thing he pulled out of that cane was no pocket knife. We'll attack him on his flank. Flank? That means you come up on his rear. That's right. That's what I said. Yeah, a surprise attack. Some lit Jap. Really do? Say, you guys sure this is Kino's store? Sure. Can't you smell the cherry stand? The only thing I ever did with a set was spend it. All in one place? Yeah. Hey, made in Japan. No kidding. Wow, wow. Hey, fellas. Fellas. He don't look like he's asleep. Maybe he fainted. Hey, he know. He's been stabbed. Mom, come and tell me to stop playing with you, white boy. Hey, let's get out of here. We'll be playing for it. <laughs> oh. Hey, Pop Stevens, let me out of here. Imagine a guy stuck himself with his own stabbing knife. I don't get it. No, we'll all get it and get plenty if anybody finds out we were there tonight. Yeah, it was as dark as the top of Scruno's head. That old lady ain't got second sight. What are you guys worrying about? Who's worrying? But I'd sure feel a lot better if I knew Pop Stevens didn't see us. Yeah, if anybody's got second sight, he has. Ah, uh, the only thing that cop ever discovered was his lunchbox, and somebody once stole that. Yeah, a guy can be locked up for that. Boys, do I need glasses? Oh, oh. Hello, Pop. Uh, good evening, Mr. Stevens. Sorry to intrude, boys, but I'm taking you over to the station. What for? We didn't do nothing. We've been here all evening. Yeah, except when you were in Kino's store. Well, uh, you got us up in Eno for our rest? Well, I'm not exactly arresting you. I just want to talk to you. Come on. Oh, it's different. Bring come your on, cards, on, boys. Hey, uh, Mr. Well, we'll be over to the door, will you? Why don't we help you? Yeah. I don't feel like that. Huh? I believe it. Hey, he wouldn't even believe Ripley. All right, maybe you didn't kill him, but I'll find out. Murphy, leave him locked in here for a while. Way outside in the hall. Yes, sir. Man, I'm sweating already. Hot water in a cooler? No, but we's in the cooler. And hot water, too. Hey, fellas. No kidding, we're in an awful jam. They got enough evidence pointing towards us to fry us, but good. I <laughs> wouldn't will we smell anything like fried chicken. Oh, I heard sometimes they sweat guys into saying things they never did. Eh, that's only in books. I hope. Got mighty thick bars on these windows. Stand by. Good night. Radio Tokyo. Signing off. I'm out of hole. Hello, Phil. Hi, Joe. Hello, Tejo. Hello, Phil. 
Tokyo just announced the complete destruction of Los San Francisco, Detroit, and Berlin. I mean Boston, and the American press is afraid to release it. Democracies, they won't be here much longer. Fritz tells me you are no longer in the service. But you have been dishonored. Skip it. Why don't we go to work? Soon. But we must proceed cautiously. Okay, okay. But how about some dough? Sure. Consider this a slight advance. There will be more, much more, when we have accomplished our mission. Well, this is more like it. Dough, real dough. Hey, get a load of this. Article 5. Criminal proceedings, condemnation of property. Get away there a minute. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury. Well, I guess we got our rights, huh? Sure, according to that, they can't even hold us here. Well, we're American citizens. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's cut out of here. Hey, Murphy! Open it! Come on, hurry up. Yeah. Quiet, quiet! Watch the beef. Do you ever read the Bill of Rights? Certainly. Know it by heart. Get out of my way, O'Hara. I'm leaving. Get Let's back. Go. Get back. I'll spank every one of you. What's the matter, boys? Do you know you're going to have a corpse to like this to keep us here? He's not going to make a corpse out of me. That's right, Mr. Stevens. We just read the Bill of Rights, and according to that, you have no right to hold us. You're right, Danny. The police have no legal right to hold you. Are you kidding? My time's valuable. You boys are lucky. You're citizens of the United States, and you're entitled to all the protection under that Bill of Rights. That's why the police are turning you free, because I don't think we have sufficient evidence to indict you. You mean I can go? You can go. Suit. Down our place sometime, we'll have a nice third degree picnic. Oh, just a minute. I also want to point out that under that Bill of Rights, you were wrong in taking the law in your own hands, trying to punish Kano. Yeah, but he was a Jap. For your information, he was not a Jap. He was Chinese. Chinese? Who's yeah. What do you know? We really pulled a boner. And a good one. Well, thanks for telling us. I thought you might want to see this. His father was murdered. That's no use crying over spilt milk. We made a mistake, that's all. Ah, we're a bunch of saps. Well, let's quit being saps. Let's try to do something useful for a change. Yeah, you know, we ought to pay for it. Anybody got any dough? Not me. Hey, you got some, ain't you, Glimpy? I could open a bank account. Moolah! Get it! Moolah! Enough to frame. Like you hang your heart on your sleeve? Easy now. <laughs> Where are we going? Heaven, Ooh. movie, dinner at Sano's, and I know a new job, fellas. Ooh, that sounds exciting. When do you have to report for duty? Oh, any time. That sounds awfully in debt. And all of it is. Oh. We'll have dinner at the automat. Now, look, Nora, I'm sorry, but we're going to have a porterhouse steak at Sarno's. It's defense stamps and the automat. Ah, Sarno's. It's defense stamps and the automat. Ah, Sarno's. The automat. Ah, Sarno's. Nora, where might you be going? Hiya, Pop. Phil and I are going to make a night of it. He has a furlough. Furlough. He's got a nerve if he told you that. Oh, now, wait a minute, Pop. Anything i got to tell Nora is my own business. I had a feeling there was something wrong. You might as well tell me, Phil. Well, there's plenty of time to talk later. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. You're getting out right now. Uh, Nora, don't pay any attention to that. You know, newspapers, or how they get things mixed up. We about. Figure it any way you want, kid. Come on, give me the lowdown. Aren't you in the Navy? No, I'm not, and I'm glad I'm out of it. Well, what do you know? So Phil turned out to be a Sabbath sewer. Oh, That's a lie. Hold it. You know, Glumpy's got to have his little choke. Yeah, I'll choke him right in the puss if he ever makes a crack like that again. Feel sorry for him? Smart guy. Nora, I'm sorry I had to blast Phil like that. What in the world has come over him? What would make him do a thing like that? You got me. It's just one of those things you can't explain. Forget him. Don't worry. I will. Uh. 
That will be three dollars. Only three dollars for all that stuff? Sure. Okay, we'll take it. How would you like a nice strat of a serious violin? Well, I got to see it first. Oh, Mark, then you got enough stuff with taking my career away. Ah, uh, you act like a mother with an only child. Oh, and next week I was going to play Carnegie Hall. Look at that piece of mahogany. How do you like that? It works. How much? I give you four dollars. Four dollars? Sure. Ain't you got no compassion for the human race? We're working for a great cause. Come on, make it ten bucks. Be a nice guy. Well, I give you four dollars and fifty cents, and that's all. So, that's enough. Let's go. Come on, grease my palm. You kids are getting a good bargain. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get bargains like a cow gives Bach beer. Hey, hi, Bach. What's that Jap doing in the back room? Jap in the back room? You're making a mistake. You are seeing things. Maybe. I'm sorry. Come on. Well, so long, Santa Claus. Don't give nothing away. Hey, do cows give Bach beer? I don't know if this thing is strictly arbitrary. Hey, what's the monkey stuff for? I think my eyes are going screwed. I'm sure... No, I don't think so. Those kids saw you. It is dangerous for you to be coming here. You must be more careful next time. But fuck. You're the speech maker. Good morning, Mrs. Keno. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just brought the fellas over to tell you how sorry we are about what happened to your husband. Yeah. They cost three bucks. Look what you've done. Can't you ever learn no ethics? Oh, can I help it if I'm touched? I oh, don't cry, Mrs. Keno. All right, me no feel bad now. We got some money here. Thought maybe we could pay for some of those things we broke. No, no, I no take. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Well, you gotta take it. We feel as though we owe it to your husband. He was a swell guy. Maybe you know who killed my husband, yes? Only wish we knew, Mrs. Kino. Yeah, the police will find out. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It was two dollars. Will you give me a receipt, please? So in the back room at Heinbox. All right, I'll give you change. Did you see that? Thank you. I just want to shake hands with an honest man. Thank you. You're a man after my own heart. Good day, gentlemen. Yeah. Jeff, huh? Do you know him? No, I've never seen him before. It's a funny thing. Well, come on, fellas. We've got to mosey along. Take it easy, Mrs. Kino. We'll see you later. Goodbye, Goodbye. Mrs. Kino. Goodbye, Mrs. Goodbye. Mrs. Kino. Yes, down in the back room, in the music box. Good. Everything is going just as we planned. We have nothing to worry about. There's much to worry about. Why, Mrs. Kino, you appreciated them flowers. That yeah. was a beautiful yeah. gesture. You know, it almost, it almost broke it. my heart. Get off really my chair. Thank you, fat old I'll pay you in the morning. <laughs> hey, you know, I've been wondering why that chap stole Kino's pen out of his pocket. What chap stole what pen? I'm for a souvenir. Yeah, you give me a pen. All right, we need a pen anyway. Use it to take the minutes of the meeting. Friday the 13th, we tried to drown O'Leary's cat. That's broke. Hey, but there's something in here. Hey, let's go. A ah, piece of paper. Give me that blockhead. What is it? It ain't nothing. It's just a blank piece of paper. Uh, let me see it. The right now. What are you talking about? You put it in coffee or milk. Who ever heard of dunking a piece of paper? Hey, let me see that piece of paper. Yeah. Who's got a match? Well, you don't find it. What do you think I am, an arsonist? It's a little trick I learned in college one time. Correspondence course. Yeah. Yeah, you go to college, really? Well, you learn how to write. Pick line. Maybe that's why the chap was so anxious to get a hold of it. Maybe that's why he paid that two bucks, just as a stall. Figuring comes awful slow to some guys. Keep on trying. I think that guy's a five car. That's the smartest thing you've said yet. Boys, we're gonna pay our friend Shaw. Paying you for. Hey, hold your fire! Hey, 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 hey,
relax. Yeah, you're a Chinaman. We love Chinamen. You're our friend. Sure. You fellas always make me lots of trouble. No, that's all over with. We're both on the same side. Hey, Charlie, I was going to get a Frenchman. So long, Charlie. If anybody bothers you, just let us know. We'll help you out. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I better go in alone. Old Matt Suey might get scared. Really, do. Right. Good morning, Matt Suey. How's your health? Very good. I told you your honor for health is excellent, young man. My health is slowly depreciating and I'm very dishonorable. But I want to thank my venerable forefathers that I'm able and well to walk into your worthy tea shop on this sunny day. How am I doing? You get by. What's up to your purchase leave? Well, there's nothing up my sleeve, but I got a lot on my mind. You gotta get interpret for me. Of course, if I can. Read that. Let me see it closer. Uh-uh. No ticky, no touchy. Where did you get that? You just mind your business and read it, that's all. Well, are you gonna read it or not? Hey, wait a minute there, shorty. Not so fast. Give me that note. Give me that note. I'll tear you around. Well, you know that stealing? The little note on a fire of a bird. I'll bust you in the head. Hey! Hey, what happened? He's done it himself. Why does this always have to happen when we're... I don't around? know, but I'm cutting out now. Hey, what's the idea of crashing in here like this? We gotta talk to you, Mr. Stevens. Well, all right, but make it snappy. What is it, somebody else murdered? Suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Quiet. It's old man Matsui in a tea shop down by the river. And we didn't do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Start at the beginning. If you ask me, it all ties in slick as anything with a big spy ring that's operating around here. Oh, you think so? I'm sure of it. Hey, Mugs, tell about that Japanese. Well, shut you up, big mud. Now, first of all, we went to Heinbach, see? Don't take it so hard, Joe. Hey, Joe, I... What's that, anything wrong? My father just committed Harry Carey. Oh. What well, could make him do a thing like that? I don't know. I wish I knew. Well, we'd better start being more careful from here on in. You know, those cops aren't dummies. I'll know how to take care of them. And then, all of a sudden, the old chap pulls out a pig sticker and gives himself the works. Sure he was dead. Dead as our friend Kino, if not dead. Uh, no job. By the way, how come everybody took old Kino for a chap when he was Chinese? Well, maybe he was acting as a spy for his country. You guessed it, Danny. I think I'll pay a visit to that tea house. Oh, now we're going to let's go. Could I stay here, maybe? Hey, Phil. Hey, I got to talk to you. Is he going to a fire or coming from one? No, nah, he's he's like that. He's always rushing someplace. Come on. Is there something I can do for you? Hey, you know why. I beg your pardon. I'm very much alive. Were these boys in here a little while ago? I believe they were. You believe we was? I saw you with my own eyes. You stabbed yourself to death. Wait a minute. Did you have any trouble with them? Possible. Nothing serious, though. These boys were just playful. If that was play, give me work the rest of my days. I'm telling you, Poppy was dead as a doornail. So Pop takes his word against Oz. It's a pretty good trick if you can do it. The next time you kids take me on a wild goose chase, I'm going to turn you over my knee and spike you. Every one of you. Well, what do you think of that? It looks mighty wacky to me. Maybe he's done it with mirrors. There's something wrong. Could oh, be. please, fellas, my head is. You were right, Tojo. A policeman came. He didn't suspect? No. My poor honorable father. He felt that I had disgraced him. You go watch the store. All right. I still think we're wasting our time. Just the same, I'm going to take another look. Hey, Shorty, where's Matsui? Oh, he not here. We well, were just talking to him a few minutes ago. Where'd he go? Oh, Mr. Matsui, go out a little bit. He made a business. 
Business, huh? There's some mighty funny business going on around here. Ah, forget it, will you, fellas? Who are you? I'm Mr. Matsui Sonora Oh, uh, yeah? You're Matsui's cousin like I got a hole in my head. Come on, tell us where he went and we'll let you off easy. How should I know? I'm not his keeper. Maybe so, but I think you're lying. You're a very brave young fellow with all your friends here. Yeah, go ahead, step outside, fellas. I want to take care of this. Oh, no, I don't want to fight. No, not unless you got ten to one on your side. Maybe we'd better go before I lose my temper and beat his head in. Come on, don't forget to keep your rice dry. Something smells. Yeah, and it ain't cherry blossoms. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out. Yes, sir, J.G., huh? Junior G, man. Hey, now, there's an idea. They won't let us enlist, so maybe we can help out like that. The way I see it, there's a big spy ring operating around here, and we gotta put the finger on it. Hey, fellas, look what I... Well, Glimpy the Grabber. If that's tea in a ditch, it might be poison. Look, in the first place, it's not tea. The second place, I didn't steal it, I got out of my ex-violin case. Let me see it. Looks like some kind of sugar. Oh, a sugar hoarder. Let's report them. Don't taste like sugar, it binds. Hey, maybe that's some kind of evidence. Must be, or else you wouldn't carry it around in my violin case. I think we ought to shadow this place. It's a swell idea. Bruno, you're appointed. Oh, Nix, I might be a junior G, but I'm also an SBB. What is an SBB? A scared black boy. Well, nevertheless, you're appointed, and you're going to stay undercover and guard this place. If anything happens that don't look kosher, you inform us. If anything happens, I'll inform me first. We're just disappointed. Oh, Nora. Look, be yourself, Phil. We're grown-ups. All I want to know is, is it true or isn't it? Well, I have got some Jap friends, if that's what you're worried about. And... Paid for it, too. No wonder you insisted on Sarno's to eat. A big shot. Maybe I spent my money on the wrong girl. You're contemptible. All right. Maybe I am a Jap spy. So what? You were kidding about being a spy, weren't you, Phil? Look, Danny, for the lastness. Come on, give me the lowdown. I'll give you a slap on the puss if you don't lay off. By the way, what were you guys doing snooping around Matsui's? What were you doing there? I was buying the old lady some tea. Mom, don't drink tea. Well, I, I can buy some tea for myself, can't I? You're lying. Shut up. You're nothing but a two-time and double cross. Look, Danny, I'm... Sorry, I'll let that be a warning to him. Hey, don't feel bad, kid. If your brother wants to be a stool, you can't do nothing about it. He must have gone nuts. Phil ain't like that. He used to say the Navy was the best job in the world. Yeah, but maybe his new job pays more dough. Take it easy. Hello, boys. Come in. Life, I guess. Say, Nora, there's a little something we want to ask you to do for us. Sure, what is it? We've been doing a little snooping on our own, and we think we got a clue. What's that? It's just a little something that we think might be important. Yeah, we took it to Charlie the Chinaman. He said it was Jap writing. It's, it's too bad my brother isn't here. Did you try to get him at the office? Eh, uh, he don't pay no attention to us. I knew a Jap I used to go to high school with. I'd be glad to get it translated for you. Oh, that's swell. Well, listen now, take good care of this and don't let nobody get it away from you. Yeah. Because you never can tell. And as soon as you find out what it is, just tell Danny and he'll let us know. You bet. Take it easy. Hey, Clint, let's go up to your place and get some chow. You'll never take me to your house for chow. Right, you got my little bowl of chow stand between friends? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, beef and beef chow. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't like it. Look. How about some chow? Me and my friends are hungry. Your friends are always hungry. They have homes, haven't they? Certainly, but we're working on a big case and we don't want to break up right now. Come on, will you? All right, there's some stew on the stove. Help yourself. Get some plates and get some knives and forks. Looks like some kind of sand or powder or something. Here's your plate. Help yourself. Oh, oh, you want to eat, huh? Oh, yeah, boy, I'm getting hungry. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, give me Take some, will you? This stuff can wait for a while. I'm gonna eat first. Give me that, bud. It's enough for a first try. What's this, Mulligan? 
Oh, no, Rooney. You got some bread? Water? Where is everything? How do you wait I'm on hungry. table? Why are you walking on the floor? You got sugar, you ain't got no coffee. Sure. What's the matter with you? Get right. up, let's get up. Oh, boy. This, this is the really best food in the world. That's that hack. You ain't got your bread. Feeding a lot of heathens. But Mara, it was an accident. An accident, was it? I think you're working for the dictator. Hey, you you get out of here. Hey, where'd you kids get that magnesium? We snitched it from Matsui's store. Yeah, that chap must have brought it there from Heinbach's. Heinbach's? Yeah, mugs all on my violin. Later on, Glippy's looking around and finds that stuff stowed away in his old violin case. Well, that makes Heinbach's the distributing point for the magnesium. Maybe Kino knew that. Maybe that's why he threw Heinbach out of his store. It's possible. Looks like sabotage. See you kids later. So long. Well, that was a swell dinner, Glimpy. We'll be back again tomorrow. Oh, now look, fellas, don't mind my mother. She gets nervous over nothing. We'll bring her some aspirin. Take it easy. So long, Glimpy. Hey, fellas, wait for me. She said you can't come back no more. Why, Miss Stevens, this is a pleasant surprise. Hello, Joe. You're looking well and as pretty as ever. Yes, I think this is Japanese writing and I'd like to have you translate it. Pleasure. It's some sort of a memorandum to buy some goods. Are you sure? I rather thought it was important. What made you think that? Why? I don't know. I, I just had an idea. I, uh, I found it on the street. Just where did you get this? Let go of me. Take your hands off me. She knows too much. We better lock her up. Let go. Let go of me. Let me go. I tell you. Help me. Get me out of here. Help. Somebody. Get out of here. Help. Get me out of here. Help. What's written on it? Enough to send us away for a long time. Oh. Well, read it to me. You'll hear about it. like them skibbies want a little privacy. Yeah, maybe we ought to get pop. What do you mean, get pop? We've been doing all right at the C-Tech business so far. We ain't gonna quit now. Yeah, how are we gonna get in there? 
You leave that to me. Anybody got a candle? I don't know. Got some matches. I might have some.
Looks like a masquerade party. Nobody invited me, so I'm going home. Give me. You don't have to be invited. Didn't you ever crash a party? What do you think this is, Borscht? If I don't come back soon, send in a searching party. I'll go get him. We'll go with you. for a while. Tie him up quick. Tie his legs. He's off for good. Drag him behind that screen when you get through. Hurry up, Huey. Come on, hurry up. Drag get him his behind hand. screen. Go ahead. I got his Drag hand. him back there. Get him, get him the back screen. here. Go on, put him back. Pull him back. <laughs> Tie that up. Maybe they're just a bunch of actors rehearsing a play or something. Nah, I think it's Japanese Halloween. Well, let's take a look at these gowns anyway. It might be. Oh, beautiful piece of goods. Uh, two pair of pants come with these, I wonder? I'm gonna put one on, too. Hey, Luno. Yeah? Your uncle. Huh? Your uncle. Huh? Boy, what a healthy set of chops uncle's got today, huh? Hey, those fellas is wearing hoods. I wonder where they keep them. There they are right there. Hey, get those hoods. Hurry up. Each one of you put one of these on. We'll become incognito, see? Now we can play trick or treat. Now listen, we go in that place just like we belong. Just like we was invited. We sit down, we don't say a word. And maybe we'll find out what's going on. Follow the leader, boys. Wonder where they're going. You'll we'll find out in a minute. Yo, one rising sun that's not gonna rise. Emperor Hirohito. Listen well. If there are any among you who for the go forward to peril, let them withdraw now, for there will be no turning back later. Only torture, death for traitors, and for weaklings. We must at once strangle our common enemy, this democracy, to assume our rightful Hey, there's an alarm bell, I told you. Our yeah, I'd like to give my haircut with a mowing machine. We will ruin the dams. We have our enemies under our control. Things is really getting complicated. He's That's in on this too, huh? He's in on everything. He got my violin, didn't he? Before proceeding, I shall permit you to see an extorted face of our benefactor to us, one who has provided us with invaluable information. Our brother. That's Phil. We are proud to bow to a man that's valuable on our behalf. You can't do nothing about it now. You will now each take the blood oath of fidelity. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I get to him, I'll tell him. Out of this place as it was to get in, I'm beginning to worry. There are spies among us. Everyone, remove his hood. 
Yeah, my mammy told me to be in the bed at 9 o'clock. The curfew rang for us when Muggs got the idea of coming here. You gotta get a bad idea once in a while. It's a law of averages. Please don't fail. Not if I you fight. I gotta get the oh, 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 Side you want, anyway? Uncle Sam's your chump. Uh-oh. There goes little Red Riding Hood, a beautiful piece of Harry... You mean Harry Carey? He committed suicide. I don't know how you kids got in here, but I'm sure glad you did. Look, Danny, you try and get out of here and get the police. I'm gonna get Nora. Nora? Sure, they've got her locked up. Now, go on. Right. Come on. Come on. Just by here, get out of here. Hey, Grim! Look out, I don't know. Don't go get them, you fool! the crumpets right on the floor. <laughs> the winner, new champion! Is that wedding bells I hear? Hooray! Oh, honey, we won't be able to go on a honeymoon. I've got orders to report for duty immediately. Oh. So long, Dave. So long, Bill. I don't feel bad. We'll take you on your honeymoon. Come on, let's go. See you in Tokyo, yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 w
You are certain to kill me before our men come here to save us. So, Kulkov, why not exchange what we know? You say they'll cross on the surface of the water? On a bridge. Then in daylight we'll see it and blast it out of the water. You won't see it. How can there be a bridge if you don't see it? It's invisible. There is no such a thing as an invisible bridge. We tell me fairy tales. Men are working on the bridge right now. That's not invisible! It's 18 inches underwater! <gasps> Drama to touch the heart of every woman. Adventure to stir the blood of every man. Suspense to thrill you beyond measure. Germans. Yes, Germans. Are you still hoping, Kulkov? Still dreaming about an army with banners? Folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.